Old Mandarin Chinese, Gu Guan Hua Pinyin, Gu Guan Hua, or Early Mandarin Chinese, Zhao Qi Guan Hua Pinyin, Zhao Qi Guan Hua, was the speech of northern China during the Jin and Yuan dynasties, 12th to 14th centuries. New genres of vernacular literature were based on this language, including verse, drama, and story forms, such as the Ku and Sank. The phonology of Old Mandarin has been inferred from the Fags Pa script, an alphabet created in 1269 for several languages of the Mongol Empire, including Chinese, and from two rhyme dictionaries, the Mengu Ziyan 1308 and the Zongyan Yinyan 1324. The rhyme books differ in some details but show many of the features characteristic of modern Mandarin dialects, such as the reduction and disappearance of final stops and the reorganization of the four tones of Middle Chinese. Name The name, Mandarin, as a direct translation of the Chinese Guanhua, Guan language of the officials, was initially applied to the lingua franca of the Ming and Qing dynasties, which was based on various northern dialects. It has since been extended to both standard Chinese and related northern dialects from the 12th century to the present. The language was called Han. Er Yan Yu, Han Er Yan Yu Han. Air language or Hanyu in the Korean Chinese language textbook Nojilde, after the name Hanar or Hanrin used by the Mongols for their subjects in the northern area formerly ruled by the Jin, in contrast to Nanrin for those formerly under the Southern Song dynasty. Sources China had a strong and conservative tradition of phonological description in the rhyme dictionaries and their elaboration in rhyme tables. For example, the phonological system of the 11th century Guangyun was almost identical to that of the Qiyan of more than four centuries earlier, disguising changes in speech over the period. A side effect of foreign rule of northern China between the 10th and 14th centuries was a weakening of many of the old traditions. New genres of vernacular literature such as the Ku and Sank poetry appeared, as well as descriptions of contemporary language that revealed how much the language had changed. The first alphabetic writing system for Chinese was created by the Tibetan Buddhist monk and leader Drogon Chogyal Phagpa, Wiley. Gro Mgon Choser Jiel. Phags Pa, on the orders of the Mongol Emperor Kublai Khan. His Fags Pa script, promulgated in 1269, was a vertical adaptation of the Tibetan alphabet initially aimed at Mongolian but later adapted to other languages of the empire, including Chinese. It saw limited use until the fall of the Yuan dynasty in 1368. The alphabet shows some influence of traditional phonology, in particular including voiced stops and fricatives that most scholars believe had disappeared from Mandarin dialects by that time. However, check tone syllables ending in the stops p, t, or k, in Middle Chinese, were all written with a glottal stop ending. Other tones are not marked by the script. The Mengu Ziyan was a Chinese rhyme dictionary based on Fags Pa. The prefaces of the only extant manuscript are dated 1308, but the work is believed to be derived from earlier. Fags Pa texts. The dictionary is believed to be based on Song Dynasty rhyme dictionaries, particularly the Li Bu Yunlu, Li Bu Yunlu issued by the Ministry of Rights in 1037. The front matter includes a list of Fags Pa letters mapped to the 36 initials of the Song Dynasty rhyme table tradition, with further letters for vowels. The entries are grouped into 15 rhyme classes corresponding closely to the 16 broad rhyme classes of the tables. Within each rhyme class, entries are grouped by the Fags Pa spelling of the final and then by the four tones of Middle Chinese, the last of which is not indicated by the Fags Pa spelling. A more radical departure from the rhyme table tradition was the Zongyan Yinyan, created by Zhou Daiking in 1324 as a guide to the rhyming conventions of Ku, a new vernacular verse form. The entries are grouped into 19 rhyme classes each identified by a pair of exemplary characters. The rhyme classes are subdivided by tone and then into groups of homophones, with no other indication of pronunciation. The even tone ping ping is divided in upper and lower tones called yin ping yinping and yang ping yangping, respectively. Syllables in the check tone are distributed between the other tones, but placed after the other syllables with labels such as ru sheng zuo ku sheng, ru sheng zuo ku sheng. Entering tone makes departing tone. Phonology 
The phonology of Old Mandarin is most clearly defined in the Zongyan Yinyan. The Fags Pa script and the Mengu Ziyan tend to retain more traditional elements, but are useful in filling in the Spartan description of the Zongyan Yinyan. The language shows many of the features characteristic of modern Mandarin dialects, such as the reduction and disappearance of final stop consonants and the reorganization of the Middle Chinese tones. Initials In Middle Chinese, initial stops and affricates showed a three-way contrast between voiceless unaspirated, voiceless aspirated and voiced consonants. The voicing distinction disappeared in most Chinese varieties, with different effects on the initials and tones in each of the major groups. In Old Mandarin, Middle Chinese voiced stops and affricates became voiceless aspirates in the even tone and voiceless non-aspirates in others, a typical feature of modern Mandarin varieties, with the exception of the retroflex nasal, which merged with the dental nasal, the late Middle Chinese retroflex stops and retroflex sibilants merged into a single series. The initial t denotes a voiced laryngeal onset functioning as a zero initial. It was almost in complementary distribution with the initial t, and the two have merged in most modern dialects as a zero initial t, or n. The initial t has also merged with the zero initial and the with medial in the standard language. The distinction between the dental and retroflex sibilants has persisted in northern Mandarin dialects, including that of Beijing, but the two series have merged in southwestern and southeastern dialects. A more recent development in some dialects, including Beijing, is the merger of palatal allophones of dental sibilants and velars, yielding a palatal series rendered J, Q, and X in pinyin. Finals The late Middle Chinese rhyme tables divide finals between 16 rhyme classes qi qi, each described as either inner ne ne, or outer y y, thought to indicate a close or open vowel respectively. Each rhyme group was divided into four divisions deng deng, crosscut with a two-way division between open mouth kaiko kaiko, or closed mouth Eku he ko, with the latter indicating labialization of the syllable onset, although these categories are coarser than the finals of the early Middle Chinese of the Qiyan, they are sufficient to account for the development to Old Mandarin. The LMC divisions are reflected in Old Mandarin by variation in the vowel, as well as the presence or absence of palatalization. Palatalization and lip rounding are represented by a medial glide, as in modern varieties. Divisions 3 and IV are not distinguished by any of the varieties, and are marked with a palatal glide, except after reflex initials. Palatal glides also occur in open division 2 syllables with velar or laryngeal initials. For example, the rhyme classes with nasal codas yield the following Old Mandarin finals. The Dang and Zhang rhyme classes had merged by the 11th century. The merger of the Zung and Zheng classes is a characteristic feature of Mandarin dialects. The two sources yield very similar sets of finals, though they sometimes differ in which finals were considered to rhyme. In syllables with labial initials, Middle Chinese M codas had already dissimilated to N before the Old Mandarin period. The remaining M codas merged with N before the early 17th century, when the late Ming standard was described by European missionaries Matteo Ricci and Nicolas Trigo. However, the language still distinguished mid and open vowels in the pairs J with Ja, Jane, Jan and On, Wan. For example, Guan and Guan, both Guan in the modern language, were distinguished as Kon and Quan. These pairs had also merged by the time of Joseph Premier's 1730 grammar. Tones In Middle Chinese, syllables with vocalic or nasal codas could have one of three pitch contours, traditionally called even, rising, and departing. Syllables ending in a stop consonant P, T, or K, check syllables, had no tonal contrasts but were traditionally treated as a separate entering tone category, parallel to syllables ending in nasals per meter, N, or Syllables with voiced initials tended to be pronounced with a lower pitch, and by the late Tang dynasty, each of the tones had split into two registers conditioned by the initials. 
When voicing was lost in all dialect groups except Wu and Old Shang, this distinction became phonemic. The Zongyan Yinyan shows the typical Mandarin rearrangement of the first three tone classes into four tones. The upper even tone, conditioned by Middle Chinese voiceless initials. The lower even tone, conditioned by Middle Chinese voiced or nasal initials. The rising tone, except for syllables with Middle Chinese voiced initials. The departing tone, including rising tone syllables with Middle Chinese voiced initials. Check syllables are distributed across syllables with vocalic codas in other tones determined by the Middle Chinese initial. Tone 2 in syllables with voiced obstruent initials. Tone 3 in syllables with voiceless initials except the glottal stop. Tone 4 in syllables with sonorant or glottal stop initials. Such syllables are placed after others of the same tone in the dictionary, perhaps to accommodate old Mandarin dialects in which former Czech syllables retained a final glottal stop as in modern northwestern and southeastern dialects. Vocabulary The flourishing vernacular literature of the period also shows distinctively Mandarin vocabulary and syntax, though some, such as the third-person pronoun ta, ta can be traced back to the Tang dynasty. Notes References Works cited Further reading Li, Wen Chao, 1999, A Diachronically Motivated Segmental Phonology of Mandarin Chinese, Peter Lang, ISBN 978-0-8204-4293-8. Shen, Zhongwei, 2015. Early Mandarin Seen from Ancient Altaic Scripts. In S.Y. Wang, William, Sun, K. Offen, The Oxford Handbook of Chinese Linguistics, Oxford, Oxford University Press, pp. 91-103, ISBN 978-0-19-985633-6. Stimson, Hugh M. 1966, The Zhongyan and Yun, A Guide to Old Mandarin Pronunciation, Far Eastern Publications, Yale University. External links Babelstone, Fag's Paw Script, by Andrew West Zongyan Yinyan at the Internet Archive, Part 1 and Part 2 Zongyan Yinyan, at the Chinese Text Project